You know, when I was a Muslim、uh, growing up in Iran, I always kind of、uh, how can I say it? I always wanted to be a friend of God, and I thought I had to be really godly to be friend of God. I have to kind of give God something. I have to to a place that God would kind of like start owing me and would really look at me and just say, "Wow, look at this." Boy or this guy or this man that he's really doing what I told him to do through the book, which was Quran. And then you know you learn from other people that hey, God wants you to be <coughs> kind and help the poor and the needy. I was a kind of a, a peaceful Muslim, and then you try to do those things and. But all that will lead to a pressure that constantly in my subconscious, I kept my subconscious kept saying, "You have to be good. You have to love people. People have to be good. People have to love you. You have to be good. You have to love people. People have to be good to one another, and people need to love one another." But fast forward after. Maybe 40 years, and now I'm 55 years old. I have known Jesus for the last 22 years, and I'm slowly seeing and realizing, haven't learned yet, that my subconscious, instead of saying, "I have to be good, I have to love people," it needs to switch and say, "God is good, and God loves us, and God loves me." God is good. God loves me. God is good. God loves me. God is good. Not I have to be good. God is good. God loves me. God is good. God loves people. God is good. God loves us. Instead of I need to be good and I need to love. And that to me is a higher realm. That's a huge. Mindset is not a better mindset. It's a higher mindset. The Lord said, "My thoughts and my ways are higher than your thoughts and your ways." It's higher realm. It's not a better realm. It's higher, right? In that sense,、uh, I think that's it. I don't have to add anything. I recorded this for myself. To, because I'm driving. Because when I when I go home, I really want to write this down. Because I have been traumatized by my own subconscious thoughts. I have been traumatized by a lesser thought. What is the lesser thought? One more time. I have to be good. 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 I have to love people. I have to be loved. Now. The thought that will release me through Holy Spirit, God is good. God is love. I have to make sacrifice. No, God already made the sacrifice. Jesus Christ. That's a higher realm. When I re- when I realize and when I'm transformed by God's goodness and by God's love. And by His own sacrifice, of course, His goodness and His love and His sacrifice will flow out of my belly. It flow out of my eyes and my life and my tongue. I cannot replicate or duplicate His goodness and His love. All I can do through Holy Spirit to recognize it, and through that recognition of His love, His goodness, and His sacrifice, I will be transformed. I recognize it like disciples. They were walking around, and Jesus comes and says, "Follow me." They recognize something in Him. I always say it was not their mind because their mind could not follow Christ. Their leg. Their feet started to do, 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 follow him. 
later on through Holy Spirit, Peter recognized Christ. And that was just the beginning. That wasn't enough, but that was the beginning. Then Peter denies Jesus three times and left him and had so much shame and guilt and then Jesus comes and then Peter recognizes again another level of wow who is this Jesus not only he didn't shame me he's going to build his church on me and then to me that recognition keep happening it happened to Paul in the beginning he said he was the least among the apostle he didn't have that many apostles Later on, he said, he recognized who he was and who Jesus was. He recognized that. He said, I'm the least of saints. He had more saints than apostles. It seems like he downgraded himself. And at the end, he said, I'm the least of sinners. He recognized the goodness of Christ and his own sinful nature. That recognition would bring transformation. Going back to your simple message, instead of saying, I am good, I have to be good. Actually, I never say I'm good. I always say, I have to be good, I have to be good. I have to treat this person in front of me really good. I have to be better than this. If someone cut me in the highway, I have to be better, I have to be good. I shouldn't get angry, I have to be good. I have to, please, please God help me, I have to be good to be better. Please God help me to love my wife, that's, that's my life. Please, please, I have to, I have to, I have to, I must love my neighbor. But they all become torment and I can't do it. Instead of saying all those things, to say, God is good. God loves me. God loves my neighbor. God loves my wife. God loves my enemy. To recognize that, to recognize I don't have to love people nor be good to people because I can't that have to it puts the pressure on me then I start to generate and give birth to many sacrifices and later on I fall into depression and bitterness because of all those wrong sacrifices I did like in old days people would sacrifice their children and during Islamic era they used to sacrifice themselves and still they do suicide bombing and I do the same. I sacrifice myself for nothing. But again, let's go back to the simple message. Instead of saying, I have to be good and I have to love the people you could keep meditating on this. God is good and God loves me and God loves others. And God already made a sacrifice. God God, God, God is beautiful, God is lovely, God is giving, God is full of wisdom, God loves me, God is good, God owns everything, God already set me free. I remember the Lord told me one time, stop trying to be who you already are. Meaning, I already made you the way I wanted you. Beautiful, lovely, amazing, full of love. You're trying too hard. For years I couldn't understand. How can I stop trying? Because if I stopped trying, I would fall into perhaps sin or whatever. I would be mean. But now I'm starting to see, yes, I stopped trying. And recognizing God already did it, it's already finished, and God is good. Just hold down to that until that recognition transforms me. Because the recognition of my sinful nature and don't sin do's and keep eating the tree, fruit of the tree of knowledge and good and evil that I may be good is not going to do anything, it's going to even separate me further and further and further from God. God is good. I could be bold with Holy Spirit and say, God is good. 
God is love. And at the same time, I can say it loud. I don't have to be good. I don't have to try to be good. I don't have to try to be loved. God is love and God is good. And the more I recognize that, the more I will be transformed from inside me. And the real me will come up. That's all.